What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install Google Tag Manager. So I'm gonna create a new Google Tag Manager account and then I'm gonna install it on a Shopify website. Now this website exists solely for the purpose of creating tutorials. It does take orders, but this is really just to create some of these different tutorials for how to use Shopify and how to advertise with your Shopify website. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to start in Google Tag Manager and we are going to create an account. So we wanna name our account. Okay, I have my account named here. We have our country, United States. We can scroll down here. So container name, we're just gonna put our URL here. Okay, so we just enter our URL for the container name. And then for target platform, it's gonna be web. So I'm gonna be choosing web here for target platform and we're gonna click on create. So now we have to accept the Google Tag Manager terms of service agreement and we have to accept the data processing terms at the very bottom as well. So we click on yes, and now it's gonna create our new Google Tag Manager account, and it's gonna immediately show us this, install Google Tag Manager, copy the code below and paste it onto every page of your website. So there's two different pieces of code we have to put in the back end of our website. The first one, paste this code as high as possible beneath the opening header tag, and then paste this code immediately after the opening body tag. So what we can also do here, do here is click on X, if we go to admin over here, you can also under container, go to install Google Tag Manager to see the same screen here, just in case you don't see it immediately. So let's copy this first piece of code here as high as possible under the opening header tag. So we're gonna copy this piece of code. We're gonna come back over to our website first. And from here, what I just wanna show you is this is Google Tag Assistant, it's a Chrome extension. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable it and we're gonna refresh this page. And then when we come to the top here and we click on Tag Assistant again, you're gonna see there is nothing added here yet. So there's no tags found on this website. So we obviously wanna change that. So we're gonna come into the back end of our Shopify website. So go to your My Shopify portion and you're gonna be in your admin screen here. Right now I'm at the home screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Online Store and we're gonna click on themes. So it should just open your themes automatically when you click online store, but we wanna make sure we're in the theme section. We wanna to go to our current theme, click these three little dots and edit code. So the what we wanna change is the theme.liquid. So you don't wanna make any major changes here, but what you wanna do is either right beneath the opening header tag or what you can do is underneath your meta tags here as we can scroll down right underneath the meta tags and we can paste that first piece of code. So Google Tag Manager, that's all we have to do and we can click on save for now. So now we have that piece of code underneath the header tag. So we're gonna come back over to Google Tag Manager and we are going to copy this next piece of code. So we have this snippet copied now as well. We're gonna come back over to the back end of our website. We're gonna scroll down. Now what you can do is just search for the opening body tag. So do like a control F, command F and just search for body and click on next and it should bring you to your opening body tag right here. So this is where our opening body tag is. It's all, all the way down in line 230. So right beneath the opening body tag. Now you may see something like body class equals gradient. That's fine. That just means this is our opening body tag. We're going to paste this next piece of code right here and click on save again. Now you don't have to save it twice. I just did it just to, just to give you an example, but we click on save again. And now we have both pieces of code on our website. So what we wanna do next is on Google Tag Manager, come back to our workspace and we just wanna submit our workspace. So we're gonna click on submit and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put added tags to website and we'll say installed Google Tag Manager on decorelephant.com. Okay, so now we're gonna click on publish. Okay, so we our version two, we added the tags to the website and we're gonna click on X here. So we didn't really do anything in Google Tag Manager at all. We just published our Google Tag Manager and installed those two pieces of code. Now we come back to our website. So we're gonna refresh this page. Okay, so the page reloaded and now we can come over here to Tag Assistant and the result of the tag analysis is we have Google Tag Manager installed properly. You can see this is green over here. So that means there aren't any issues with our Google Tag Manager installation. And it's that simple to install Google Tag Manager on your Shopify website. All you need to do is edit your theme.liquid file. You don't wanna make any major changes to this file. You just wanna put these, these two pieces of code in here, click on save, refresh the page. You can use Google Tag Assistant just to make sure that you have this properly installed on your website. So what we're gonna be doing 
in some of the follow-up videos is showing you more ways to install different tags on your website, some things such as Google Analytics 4, some things like Google Search Console, and then we'll go through even more as far as tracking with Shopify, and eventually we'll get into advertising as well. So again, this website exists just for tutorials. So if you have any questions about how to install Google Tag Manager on Shopify, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.